So today, we're gonna electrify our kitchen, which is done, but we're gonna show you how we did it. So, it's a, it was a dirty job. We're rocking. We are rocking. I took care of uh, removing everything, doing the wiring and, and, and disassembling and reassembling the stove, and she did all the cleaning. I think that was the hardest part because that grease, when I got on my hands, it would not come off. I scrubbed and scrubbed. And mm, uh, probably like 22 years of a build up. Back there. Yeah. yeah. It was it was it was nasty. So y'all stay tuned and we'll jump right into this. So I'm in my wife's kitchen and we're gonna install this oven and this cooktop here so that everything is in the kitchen because lately this has been residing in the living room probably not the best place for it i gotta get in here so let me get some tools and see if i can get this out and take it apart and put it back together again so as we're looking to remove this my wife doesn't like this bar i don't think i think i'm gonna leave it there i don't know it's uh because it'll leave holes but under here we got that uh, strap that keeps it from gimbling too far, and then we have the hose back there. Okay, so I got that off. It didn't take that long. And I know y'all are probably going to say, you need to keep gas, but it's a heavy, uh, uh, propane's a heavy gas, it'll get down the bilges, and we're not, uh, we're not excited about blowing up, so we're gonna do electric, and uh, sorry to see this uh, Force 10 be cannibalized to make a electric oven. Okay, it's easy enough to take off. Okay, I got this thing pretty stable laying outside. I got two crescent wrenches. Let's see if I can take off this gas line. Okay, I think I broke it loose. Yep, I broke it loose. Ooh. Okay, this is just all kinds of nasty back here. So I found me a separate circuit I can run this cook set off because the microwave runs on its own breaker and we can't use but one at a time. So I'm going to run off the microwave breaker for the stove top and the wiring just comes right up through here. And I've got this all taken out. I just took this face plate off, just uh, four screws and it comes right off. And I can take this out. So the microwave's out, and I pulled the gas hose back up through here. And I'm gonna leave it behind this uh, cover, just beside the microwave, because it's uh, there's no gas in it. But you know, get out of the way, we make this look cleaner. So when my wife gets here and scrubs this, I'm kidding. I'm getting dirty looks, guys. I am busy working. <laughs> Plus, if anybody ever you know, wants to put this back, of course, the gas is here. Now I'm going to move that. There's, there's an outlet right here. Let me look, show you that. So there's an outlet right there. I'm going to see if I can't move that over here to the other side. So what I've done is I've moved that from over here to the side. I have screwed in that trim up there. And then I ran a cord from it, plugged in to just this. Now, we've ran the uh, these items off this and it will support it. So, I'm not worried about that, but I know, yeah, I could do better. Okay, I got the oven out. 
It's in the living room. My wife feels trapped in there. And I'm gonna put this uh, microwave back together. Have this plugged in, ice maker works. And the microwave's back in. That was pretty hard, the way they have it shimmed in there. It's not moving, so that's good. But still, I don't like the way they installed it, but I guess it'll have to work for now. But I know I can rebuild this, and I don't think a bigger microwave would fit in here. And we don't really use the microwave, but if we wanted to, we probably could probably make something a little bit bigger here. Okay, so I've tested it, it's running. I have it plugged in that, and the microwave's on. Now I have to clean out that mess and take apart this uh, stove. But I'm gonna let this run for a while. Excuse the mess in here, but boats are very tight spaces. But I'm gonna start taking this apart. First I'm gonna take off this. It should be fairly simple. Okay. Don't want to lose my pieces. Put these back where they go. Okay, so my baby's back there cleaning up my mess. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna draw out these rivets and get rid of the center portion. <laughs> Go, Bella. Get her. Oh. Fish tornado. Oh wow. Hey babe, come look at this. My baby, she cleaned up all of this. That looks night and day different. And now I'm just, I'm gonna stick that plug back on the back wall and put it in my contraption. You'll see that. Okay, so we have the oven in, in this contraption. I still have some adjustment to do, but this is basically a rough draft. Everything's wired up, 
you can turn it on, you can turn on the oven, and yeah, everything is right in the world for now. Okay, so we're using the induction cooktop, and the power draw on this is amazing, so it works a lot better than the other one we're using. But you listen out there, the wind is insane. But <laughs> yeah. Just trying to make a meal. Yes. But... Okay, so my wife has been actually working with this oven for about a week and a helicopter comes over. Yeah, well, I'm going to redo that because the helicopter. We got helicopters. We got a tour thing right over there. So my wife has been working with this uh, oven set up in the kitchen for about a week. Now, we already know that the oven itself, we can't power the oven without being on shore power or running our generator. We think it's a problem with our battery. It's a 400 amp battery, two... Uh, 12 volts. We have the Victron 3000, which is 2600 watts. This pulls 1800 watts, but I'm seeing a huge voltage sag when we try to run this. The cooktop, which is also 1800 watts, we can run just fine, and that you know uh, cooks great, uh, especially since you can actually when you sit uh, go through the menu or go through the temperature settings. You can do temperature or watts. So watts is very helpful to know how much power you're drawing. The microwave works as it did before, and uh, we can run that on batteries as well, but you just can't run that and that at the same time. So. No, I tried. <laughs> that work. But uh, yeah, so, and this, this handle that uh, I said in the video that my wife was wanting to remove she during this rockiness she used it the other day because uh it almost shoved me into the stairs <laughs> i was cooking breakfast breakfast so and this cooks eggs wonderfully we'd still have to get a pot to cook rice and pasta and things like that but it's uh baby steps and like i said this is a, a rough draft we'll call it version one dot o or negative 0.5 or something i don't know but this is rough draft and we're going to continue to build this up to make this kitchen hopefully a very functional electric kitchen on this boat and also for that battery issue if uh you want to sponsor us on like some 400 amp hour 12 volt batteries that would be awesome <laughs> so just just drop drop some comments down there below and also, if you like this video, go ahead down there and hit that like button. It's that little thumbs up thingy. If you like our channel, subscribe. And if you uh, want to leave feedback, comments, do that down below as well. It helps the algorithm. Whether you uh, kind of get mean or not, it still helps. And uh, if Don't forget about my cooking. Oh yeah, check out this girl's cooking. And uh, oven uh, recipes are going to be coming back soon. And this oven cooks just like our oven in our house did, so there won't be any changes to that. No, I don't cook on air fry, even though it does do that. But I just, I like good old fashioned bake, mm -hmm. you know, because that's what I used to do in my kitchen at my house that I don't have anymore, but yeah. <laughs> so y'all, y'all please take care. Bye. <laughs>